hello everybody uh all you missed is us going here uh it is a uh, late night which means i cannot go out which means this is here i'm tired i can't call my teacher i can't talk to him but we're going to make some curry because uh we need sp for everybody so hey they're still open so i can't cook get the fuck out of here Uh, yeah, thanks. Now I can fucking make my curry. Can I not make curry? Wait, can I go outside? Hey. Alright, whatever. Oh, I can't make it all the time. Make sure you close it. Alright, perfect. Now we'll get some more coffee because we need it every now and then. Yes. Let's right. see if he comes in and eats with us. Uh, nope. Okay, so we're going to sleep now. Who's making plans with us? Uh, I'm going to be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring a DVD over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll watch. We'll watch a movie with him. Uh, I really want to see what people want to do. Hey. Let's see, we got messages. Okay. Let's go hang out with Ryuji, because he's here. Yo, he wants to go talk some baseball! Yeah. Watch movies and talk baseball? <laughs> Damn, dude, did you see that pass? Our countries have tons of people who can play this good, right, man? For an are insane. Uh, you know, I didn't, uh, used to be into soccer, but I sat down and watched a match the day, and now I'm hooked. Soccer about, what do you like more, soccer or baseball? Baseball! What yep. up? Oh, for real. I was about to, uh, all about that shit when I was a kid. I loved watching the draft. Most of my money back then went to sports mags, too. You gotta have, uh, nine people per team, though, so it's pretty tough to get a game nowadays. Hell yeah, we watch some sports together. We're fucking... Cool as shit. <laughs> Man, that was great. Makes me feel like going for a run. <sighs> Since I bothered to come out here, it might be uh, cool to hang out longer. You'll get closer to your friends if you spend more time with them, but it also takes up your evening. Uh, want me to make curry? For real? Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, man. I was just getting hungry. Got enough for seconds? Hell yeah. Whoa. Damn, that curry smells amazing. This is going to be insane. Who's you looking forward to this? Maybe I should be adventurous. Do as... Uh, holy crap. I want that in my mouth now. Oh my god, Ryuji. Man. Dude, I eat fucking fast, man. Holy shit, this is unreal. It's just so, you know, good. This rocks, man. Yeah, me and Ryuji. Oh, are we eight now? A lively conversation about uh, complicating working a bowl of curry. See ya. Hell yeah, man. Shit. Why does everybody want to come over now? Uh, like, I'm down to hang out, but we gotta do this. We gotta get this shit done. Hey. Hey. Uh. Hi. Well then. Yo, we're going to uh, okay. hide out. We're going to fuck shit up, baby. Let's go. Damn, it's hot today. All right. Uh, send calling card. Are you sure? Once we. Yeah, we uh we got all the the seeds now. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Yeah, let's do Looks it. Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room though? Even boss is forbidden entry. Uh, we'll be honest. Yes. That is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, mm -hmm. if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, 
She'll surely open the door and let us inside. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's it? Yep. Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. Okay. An eyeball? What's this? Uh-oh. Huh. When did it get on here? Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa! Huh, who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. Uh-oh. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Uh-oh. Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? Uh-oh. What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. What is a female Why pharaoh Why did you choose to rely on the phantom thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are Maybe. you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so, I will kill them in your world. Uh-oh. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Okay. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me we're going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. You have to do this. That's easy for you to the say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other right. me. Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me, uh, Ten seconds. It's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, it'll open now. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science. Information technology, biology, psychology. We, these are all technical books. Where is she? She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? She has a naughty magazine. She has a naughty magazine. Huh? Ah, look, naughty magazine. There you go. Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. Th this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. There you I go. highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Correct. Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? She's the king of thieves. If you wanted help, you could have just asked thieves. for it. I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because I was embarrassed. There you go. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? 
because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Okay. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm guessing his her mom went in there. Someone changed her heart and she died from it. She's not answering. Maybe? Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. Yeah, okay. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... One who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world. But it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? God damn. I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Oh, shit. Good. 
Why are you so mean? Kitty, you again? Oh shit, is she coming with us because she has the app and she lied to us? Okay. I'll just add. Let's go. They actually play this in like uh, in Japan, like when you're hey. working. Hope she read the calling card. I mean, after that trouble we went through, she damn well better read it. Yeah. All right, it's open. Well, yeah, Fujiwabachan opened the door herself. Nice. Anyways, the treasure is up ahead. Let's finish this. I have something. Let's go. I'm fucking hyped. This is a good one. Incredible. Represents Futaba's room. Yep, this heart of the hacker, all right. Anyways, where's the treasure? This way. Okay, uh, there's no knowing what lies ahead. Let's just be vigilant. I have something. Oh shit, that's cool as fuck. Skipped all the fighting, so we got to keep all these guys' things. Oh! It's the team we want, right? Yeah. Okay. Joker. Yes! Let's do it. We gotta save her. If I use this, I can change my heart. Vocal input. Fu. Fu. Futaba Sakura. Sojiro Sakura's house. And then. Something about distortion. Distortion. Dis hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. Oh shit. I can go in now? No! You're a player! You're the one who killed it's her! All your fault! Don't come near me! Your fault! Oh shit. I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Hell. This ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh shit. <laughs> What's going on? Is it a shadow? No, then. It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. <laughs> like a griffin. Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb. Misfortune will fall upon you. Oh, look at it fly about. We can't reach it like this. We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills. Okay. Kidding. Panther's dazed. Her attacks won't hit. 
not this one. Leave it to me. I appreciate it. Joker's dizzy. Persona! His accuracy is going to be worse now. This is my other self. I lend it. Go back Let's give him some payback. Get wrecked! How far did it fly up? Don't tell me. Is it gonna dive attack us? Damn that thing. When's it gonna strike? Fox is dizzy. We'll have trouble landing his attack. My eyes. Alright. No way, come on, Fox. You've defended and everything. Persona! I apologize. Oh, this isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. What do you mean you can't tell? You gotta tell us, Mona! I can't help it! There are some things that even I can't do! Uh, shit. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Who's she going to replace, though? Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after Mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When Mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. Damn. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Come on. Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah, uh, my head, it hurts, which is true. You're one of my memories. Huh? It's calling me? Mm, shit. The hell? We ain't doing shit to it. Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... Oh shit. Wait, is that monster her mother? 
Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. Oh, creepy. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. Oh, shit. She be talking about cognitive science? Uh you're going to die. There is no meaning to your life. No one needs you. Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was, she was always, always such a bother. Such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. <laughs> gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up so because she thinks she killed her mother and because she thinks she deserves to die Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead Futaba chan look there's no way that monster is your mother it's just an illusion you created B but come on she never abused you did she boss told us he said she did her best to raise you alone isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ugh. You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba Chan. No, she had worked so hard on this well. No, they she lost destroyed her mind. it. And it's all because of you. They killed her and they it's did it. Your it's her shadow. Futaba Sakura, remember. Oh shit. You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Fuck no, come on. Did she ever say such horrible things to you? It's time to rip the mask off and join us in the fight. No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me. Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. Damn. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? Utaba chan? Uh. What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the heartless. Oh you knew God. from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die. Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Let's go. Those words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul. Let's go. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Ah. I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm Let's going go. to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. Let's go. There's no way you're my mom. You're just a fake created by those horrid adults. I'll I'll never I'll never forgive them! Let's go! What is that? Huh? Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh shit. Contract. I am thou. Thou art I. The forbidden wisdom has been revealed. No mystery. No illusion shall deceive you any longer. Pajaba! I'm okay. Look at that. Please help me. That's gotta go. Hell yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Hype is real! Yeah, yeah. No. Mom! No, that's not her. You're just a monster! Oh, we're back to full health and full everything. Damn. It's going to swoop down on us again, isn't it? What can we do? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. We're counting on you. This is my heart's world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. Oh, yeah. This is fucking cool as shit. Oh, shit. I won't let you. What a fucking shield. Oh shit! A, a ballista? Oh shit! Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. Ah, I get it now. Let's go. We're gonna fire that giant arrow thing, right? Mind if I do it? Let's go for it, Ryuji! Oh yeah, bro. Let's go. Okay, oh, we got uh. We're going to make sure everybody's fucking defensed out. It doesn't matter if we don't have the armor. Thank you. We're going to decrease. He buffs away, baby. This is my other self. Here. They're not getting shit on Joker. Uh, after all I did to raise you, you dare neglect your mother like this? I am your mother, the one and only in this whole awful world. That's not true. What? Why won't you admit it? Why won't you? Mom is gone. No matter how much I wish for her to be with me, it'll never come true. That's why I'll live in the real world. Even if she's not there with me anymore. Yeah. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy as I can. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're a fake. Listen, my mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton. But you're not her. Oh, yeah. And I'll never live a life where everything gets decided by someone else. Bring it on. Oh shit, look at that. Change direction. Aim the tip at her. Get him, Ryuji. Get him. I'm counting on you. Oh, yeah! Ryuji with the big dick, please! Ah, 
Ah, shut up already. Shut up. You're not my Yeah. Mom. You're just a monster born from my own weakness. Oh Everyone, yeah. Keep attacking it. Don't let up. Let's go. All out attack, baby. You're dizzy. Your attack Soda. might not connect. All right. Attack down. Defense down. Do I have any? Eat this. Persona. I <laughs> This is my other self. I <laughs> Everybody gets a boost. Oh, a big help. Let's go. I appreciate it. Thanks. Look at those fucking numbers, dude. No. Eat a dick. We'll be taking Futaba. Oh, fuck you that bitch. You're going down. Okay, so this was by far the easiest boss fight, but by far the coolest. Fuck yeah. That was awesome. Look at that. 31, 33, 33, 33. Oh, Power oh, courses through me. Let's go. You skill. I got a new power. Increase the chance of increased alignment during rain and snow. Well, I guess because I have the heavy one, I can do this. But it doesn't rain or snow. Futaba! Damn, you're freaking incredible! Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight. There you go. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. There we go. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, the feels, man. The feels. <sighs> oh, right. Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Uh. Huh. Oh. Right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. <laughs> but if we have her on our side. Wait, what about her treasure? Oh, yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. Oh shit. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise.
Oh shit. Jiggle fi fi figure. Jiggle physics. She just fucking launched Mona. And Ryuji should be faster than all of them, because he is the sprinter. Dude! Mona just ate the winner in his and absorbed him. Come up the drive, look at this. Hey, you know it's a video game. Insert lethal joke there. Right. Hey. You guys still alive? Yes. I thought I was gonna die and uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, um... That reminds me. Where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Ah, yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... Uh... I'm not thirsty, though. Haha, <laughs> Yusuke, you're dumb. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Stop assaulting him. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something. Please. Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. Yeah, yeah, put it on my tab. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Mm, I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. Yeah. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! Mm. Uh. <sighs> oh dear. Uh. Um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. Yeah. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm going to go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Majed? Uh, she's up! Uh, Majed. Uh, I'm tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again? Utama-chan! For a bit? 
How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up either. Yeah, let her sleep, man. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. Guys, all we can do is we got get till her the, to wake up. We got till the 21st. What are you guys fucking worried about? is with her. I'm sure everything will be okay. We just gotta wait for Futaba to wake up. Hey! Ah, uh, why won't you let me go outside, motherfucker? Alright, thank you everybody for watching. We're going to jump into another playthrough after this. Thank you so much. More playthroughs right here, and I'll see you in the next video.